Okay, hey there YouTube. Um, this video is going to be about how to reset your MyQ inside surveillance camera. So right now I have my surveillance inside the garage. It is plugged in, so I couldn't find directions in English for my manual, so that's why I'm making this video. So um, long story short, I turned my internet off and that got my camera offline. And so do not turn your internet off with these MyQ cameras or you'll have to reset them. So let me briefly verbalize the steps on how to get your camera back online. And um, the first step is you're gonna wanna unplug it and you can just pull this power, power switch right here, okay? And then plug it back in. If you see a flashing blue light after the white light, then you can try and uh, pair it up. So one thing to note, you will have to forget, forget the device before you pair it up again. And that was my problem because my camera was previously paired up. So let me get a screenshot of that. Okay, so you'll see the camera is working just fine right now, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna unplug it so you can see what it looks like. Okay, so I unplug my camera. And you'll notice there's no lights. You don't see any lights up there it's because your camera's not active. Okay, so now I'm gonna plug it back in. That's the first step. Okay, when you plug it back in, you're gonna see this white light. You don't need to do anything at that point. You're gonna wait. You're gonna wait until you see the, um, the blue flashing light, and then you're gonna have to follow the instructions on your MyQ app. And you're gonna go through several instructions. You'll have to type in your Wi-Fi password. You're gonna have to turn your Bluetooth on. Um, anyway, so it's flashing a blue and a green light. So I'm gonna go check and see what that blue and green light means. And I'm gonna try and get those screens for you as I connect this camera. You are going to have to forget, forget the device on your Bluetooth before you do anything and make sure your Wi-Fi phone, your phone is connected to the Wi-Fi that you want your camera to be connected to. So you can see it on the MyQ app, which is blue. You can download that in the app store as the MyQ app. Okay, so at this point, I have forgotten the device. I still have a green light, which signifies that the camera's active. So I'm gonna unplug it and then plug it back in. So let's show you that. Let me just come up on my ladder here. Again, you're gonna wanna forget the device on your phone first. Anyway, so now let's plug it, plug the power back in. Of course, you have to have power or else your camera won't work. All right, so now we're going through the setup phase and just bear with me on this because I'm gonna be taking screenshots as I do this, but there's, there'll be a white light that comes up. You need to wait for, wait for the blue light to pop up. Okay, and the blue light is popping up. It's blue and green. So I'm gonna go to my MyQ app and uh, try and connect it from there. Okay, so at this point, I don't see the blue flashing light, so this is what I need to do. Um, get your MyQ box. I like to have a push pin handy or a paper clip or something else. Paper clip is probably better, but I'm gonna show you up here how to reset the camera, okay? And of course you forget the device on Bluetooth in your phone first. There's a little hole here. I'm just gonna, 
Just gonna hold this for about five seconds. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so I held that for five seconds. That was supposedly resetting the camera. And let me unplug it one more time. And maybe I didn't hold it down long enough. Let me try this again. There's a little hole. Okay, so this time I didn't scale the ladder. Okay, so I held it pretty tight. Okay, there it goes. That was my reset because my green light went off. Okay, so now it's the white light. And we're gonna wait for the flashing blue light and then we're gonna get our MyQ app open and follow the directions there, that I, the photos that I've shown you. Okay, so there's a blue, a blue light that will be coming on. Just bear with me, it takes a little <clears throat> time. Anyway, so I, what I did for you is I unconnected my camera. Now I'm gonna connect it back up to my Wi-Fi so that way I can see my video surveillance on my phone. Okay, so there's the blue light. So I'm going to the MyQ app. This has been a video of how to reset the MyQ surveillance camera. It just has this little magnetic mount. You can pull it off, you can move it, you can rotate, you can rotate this when you're all done. But when you see the green light, that means <clears throat> your camera is live. There's also like a paid subscription. You can record surveillance. But um, here it is. It's nice to have if somebody's dropping off a package, package at your house or you want to shut your garage door so again this was a video I'm gonna just briefly go over the steps <clears throat> verbally one more time so the first thing you're gonna to want to do is forget the device from your settings on your Bluetooth then you unplug the camera if you don't see the blue flashing light you come over here with your pin you're gonna hit you're gonna hold that for about seven seconds until you don't see any lights and then maybe plug it back in anyway the key is to get it set up you need to see the blue flashing light once you see the blue flashing light go to your myq app follow the instructions based on those photos i gave you those screenshots and go through all those steps you're going to need to pair it up with your bluetooth and then you'll need to connect it to your wi-fi you'll need to have your wi-fi password handy and ready to go. Also, you'll, your phone will need to be by the camera when you hook it up. So, I hope this helps. Um, I wish I would have watched this video before I 
wasted my time reconnecting my camera. But the moral of the story is don't turn your Wi-Fi off because it will disconnect your surveillance camera every time. Okay, so um, if you can see, this was real. Um, I actually did reset the camera. You can see the sweat dripping from my face out here in the garage. So a tip you might want to do, try and do this early in the morning if you live where it's hot or, or at night. Um, but yeah, for sure, reset your Bluetooth inside the house in the AC to figure out how to do that. 